getting subscriptions through either CE Plus membership, which is real estate, or unlimited learning pass, which is appraising. So with this, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a real estate package for the student with the unlimited learning pass. So I have my student pulled up, and once again, we always want to verify their physical address, their email address, phone number, and their license or licenses. Once we've done that, then we can go to our class search as always. It's going to pull up our handy little box. We want to choose real estate, continuing education, and by the way, these uh, CE Plus and Unlimited Learning Pass only work for continuing education. Qualifying or pre-licensing and also post-licensing is not included in these. So the state, we're going to choose Pennsylvania and delivery method is going to be subscription. That's where we're gonna find our memberships. And then of course, submit. Now that we have that, we can see what's available. So we have multi-state CE Plus membership, which is 275. And then we also have the PA McKissick CE Plus membership, which is 119. We're going to select just the singular for 119 and save. That is now going to open up into our invoice. And as you can remember, call type, that was an inbound call. And as far as the price, that's correct, the 119. And here's our PA McKissick C Plus membership. The other thing we want to always need to do on this is that over here, we need to put in the date that it's due to expire. So being today is October 4th, 2017, I'm simply gonna put in 10 4 2018 and that's under um, Rev, Receive, End Date. Now that we have that, if they also wanted you to enroll them in a few courses, all you would need to do is go back to Class Search in your invoice. We once again are going to choose real estate. We're going to do CE for continuing, Pennsylvania for our state, and then we're also we're now going to go to virtual classrooms to set up the actual classes. Something to remember the CE Plus can be discounted with any um, promo codes personal discount or supervisor discount. The only thing you want to keep in mind when discounting is do not offer it for less than what the actual package of the courses cost. So if this is 119 and all the education that they needed in their package was going to be $98, you cannot go below $98 for the discount. So now we're going to click so submit. And now we're going to select all the courses that they wanted to work on. Let's just say that it's going to be a day in the life of a buyer agent and it was the green building. So what I'm going to do is my control F again and bring up where I can type in the name of the course I'm looking for and then type in green. There it is. We're going to select it and then we would save. Another note to remember is that if they also needed it for any other state, they would need to pay the fee for the additional certificate if they only have the single state CE+. So now in our invoice, we not only have our PA McKissick CE Plus membership that they're enrolling in for the year, we also have two courses that they want to take with that membership. But as you can see, the price up here is more than what the membership is, so we need to um, get that fixed before we save it. What we do is we come down to our first course, 
and as you can see it's showing it's $29.95. What we need to do is click the price and zero that out. We then want to click tab and this little box appears that we want to check mark so that it's showing that it's purchased with the subscription. We're going to do that for the other course it, and a little pop-up comes on that says the line total amount is equal to the item price times the quantity. Is that correct? All you need to do is select OK. Then we're going to do it for the second course. Zero dollars and check mark purchase with subscription. Now that we've done that, then we can click OK. That pop-up box is going to come up again and we're going to select OK. And there, now our price is back to what the subscription is and they're not being charged for the courses that they're purchasing under what they've already paid. Next we would want to save an email. Oh, my date fell out. Now we're going to save an email and that's going to generate our invoice. If we were going to now po process the payment, we would go to accept payment, put in, um, put in our payment method, it pops up the credit card we were going to use or we can add a new one under the credit card selection and then we would save an email so they also get a copy of the receipt of paid in full. For the unlimited learning pass, which is the appraising, then we would do the same. We would go to class search. Instead of real estate, we would put appraisal, continuing education, our state of Pennsylvania, and our subscription then we can submit. That is going to bring up what we have available and we would be choosing um, which one we wanted. Now as you can see there's two different unlimited learning passes here available for just Pennsylvania. The first one is 579 and the second one is 479. The difference between those two is with the 479 that only includes online courses. If they feel that at any point they might want to take a mixture of live courses in the classroom, webinars, or online courses, then they would need to select the 579 and get unlimited of all types of courses. So once again, the difference in the premium would be whether they wanted all online or if they wanted a variety of all three types that we offer. For this one, we're going to say that they wanted everything. They want to do some webinars, they want to do some classrooms, and they want some online. We would check mark that one and click Save. That's now going to enter it into the invoice. Once again, we want to scroll over and go to the, the expiration date. So her license expires 4-18 of 2018. We also want to remember to put our call type in of inbound. And then we're going to save and email the invoice. With the unlimited learning pass for appraisers, this cannot be discounted. That includes no promo codes, no CSR personal discounts, and no supervisor discounts. It is The price is what it is. You would save an email. We're going to click Accept Payment. Go to Payment Method. And then select our credit card and save an email. If, they, if a student calls in and they have already been enrolled, which you can go under the Enroll tab, and you see that they do have the unlimited learning pass, and you can see the expiration date of it, then any course that you enroll them in, we will just go to Class Search, and we will fill in what courses they want to do under their unlimited learning. 
so it can be done at time of purchase and any time throughout that cycle. Now any course that they select that does not get completed by the last day of their either CE Plus or Unlimited Learning Pass will expire with the Unlimited Learning Pass. So again, we're going to choose Pennsylvania and we're going to choose that they want to join a webinar. We're going to submit and all the webinars are first arranged by title and then by date. So if you knew that the webinar was going to be held on 10-28, you can actually type that here and this is the one that's being held. You would select it and as you can see that's going to go from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and they, it's a four-hour course for $84.99. We're going to go ahead and save this to our invoice. And then we want to remember to zero it out. So under amount, we're going to select and make it zero dollars. And once again, check mark that it's purchased with a subscription. We're going to click OK, our little pop-up box. We're going to select OK, our call type of inbound and obviously it's zero payments. That way we can go ahead and save and, e save and email it. That way they get a copy of the invoice even with the zero balance. And just make sure that you are checking expiration dates before enrolling students and make sure that they still have a valid unlimited learning pass or CE plus before enrolling at a zero balance. Other than that, you should be good to go and hope you're having a great time learning. Thank you for your time and you take care. Bye-bye.